What's up? It's oh, Cyclonus, yeah. and I am here once again with some more Xbox related news. Now, I'm back, just been away for a second, you know, dealing with the holidays and family, and also doing a lot of shopping and a grueling holiday work schedule with the United States Postal Service. A lot of things going on, like for instance, the Xbox One's backwards compatibility list expands, which I thought Microsoft made some great game choices, but there are some people that weren't too happy about the game choices, but each is own. Also, PlayStation 4 might be getting games running on the cloud? How? But it has a weak architecture, so I don't understand this, and it really doesn't make any sense for Microsoft to release exclusive Xbox One technology to the competitor. But we'll see how this plays out, because my personal opinion, I don't think the PlayStation 4 can handle the full power of the cloud, and will not be able to fully implement it. But hey, if Sony uses it, then guess who gets paid? Well, of course, Microsoft does. So regardless, it's still a win for Xbox and Microsoft. Now on to this video. I know you're probably saying, not another Direct X12 video. But ever since its announcement, us Xbox fans can't help but to be excited. Now we all know Microsoft's Direct X12 has been a hot topic when it comes to debates on the amount of improvements to the new API is expected to bring to the table. Already available on PC, Microsoft is now looking to bring it over for its Xbox One console as well. The firm is confident that its arrival will help the console close the performance gap which many have pointed out to be between it and rival PlayStation 4, which is just a bunch of made up lies in my opinion, which was widespread by the media and PlayStation 4 fanboys. Gaming Boat recently sat down with developers Dan Barker, Tim Kipp, and Brian Wade, the ones behind the popular Nitro's engine, and discussed what the new API means for the Xbox One. The developers admitted that they are experts when it comes to analyzing the architecture of the console. And they do know that DirectX 12 is going to increase the performance of the Xbox One by reducing CPU overhead and providing new techniques for cranking extra juice for the GPU. They added that the usage of DirectX 12 on the Xbox One will bring great benefits including increased frames per second and resolution. It will take some time for developers to discover the true potential of the new technology but at the end the advantage is going to be very noticeable. When asked if DirectX 12 will help games on the Xbox One with frame rates and resolutions, the developers replied that since DirectX 12 offers a more direct control over the CPU and the GPU as well as new features such as a sync compute, the new API should bridge that gap and allow studios to include support for better resolutions and frame rates. Head of Phil Spencer has already stated that there will be a performance difference, but it won't be a major one. See, on the other hand, Phil Spencer is no developer, and we all know Phil won't give away all his secrets until it's showtime. So at this moment, with so many developers coming forward, speaking about DirectX 12, we can be sure about the true potential of DirectX 12 with real world performance when it arrives on the Xbox One and what studios are capable of producing. Leave your comments down below. I will leave a link to this article. So if you're one of the many that think DirectX 12 won't improve the greatest game in the entertainment console on the planet, which is the Xbox One, you are about to eat your own words very soon. And don't say I didn't tell you so. I'm Cyclonus, and until next time, my opinion counts.